Hello, my name is Hassan. I'm from America in the state of Virginia. I'm in seventh grade. I've had an interest in space for my entire childhood. Today we are learning about space time. Space-time in physics is a mathematical model that combines a three-dimension of space, our 3D world, and one dimension of time. Our eyes don't perceive that fourth dimension, so as a 2D person wouldn't be able to view a 3D world. It's like we look through a slit with a pattern behind, and as you go up, it looks like it's an object bouncing off another object. Who introduced the concept of space-time? The famous physicist Albert Einstein helped develop the idea of space-time as a part of his theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity posited that the speed of light was constant because light always travels at the same speed. In this next part, we talk about black holes. Black holes are a part of space-time where nothing, no particles, not even light can escape the event horizon. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong that because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space, this can happen when a star is dying. If it's invisible, how do we know about it? People can't see black holes, they are invisible. Space telescopes with special tools can f help find black holes. The special tools can see how stars that are very close to black holes act differently than other stars. There are seven parts of a black hole. Accretion disk, normal stable orbit, relativistic jets, photon sphere, event horizon, and the singularity. I will explain all of these parts of the black hole and what they do. An accretion disk is formed when matter is swirling around the event horizon in the same way water swirls down a drain. The innermost stable or orbit is the inner edge of the accretion disk. The last place where matter can orbit safely before falling past the event horizon. The relativistic jets emit X-rays and radio waves and they are channeled by both supermassive and stellar mass black holes. They move at near light speed. The photon sphere is right outside the event horizon. Supermassive and stellar mass black hole gravities are strong enough to where the photons, which usually go in a straight line, get bent. They usually outline the shape of black hole. The event horizon is a point of no return. Nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Anything near the event horizon gets spaghettified. Time seems to slow down as you approach the event horizon. At some point, you'd freeze in time. The singularity is the point where all the matter ends up. It is the center of the black hole. If black holes are black, how do scientists know they are there? Scientists can see how the gravi strong gravity affects the stars and gas around the black hole. Scientists can study stars to find out if they're flying around or orbiting a black hole. Could a black hole destroy Earth? Earth will not fall into a black hole because no black hole is close enough to the solar system for the Earth to do that. Even if a black hole the same mass as the sun were to take the place of the sun, Earth still would not fall in. The black hole would have the same gravity as the sun. If you were to be brought even centimeters close to a black hole, your body would either be torn apart, resulting in a quick death, or you die an even quicker death, where you hit a firewall and die instantly. How soon you die depends on the mass of the black hole. As a rule of thumb, the farther you are, the farther from the singularity you are, the longer you live. Black holes come in different sizes. A stellar mass black hole having the mass of a few suns, but having the size of an asteroid. Then there are the supermassive black holes, which are found at the heart of a galaxy, and have been feeding for billions of years. All black holes will eventually evaporate through a process called Hawking and radiation. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Suggest an interesting topic about space in the comments. Goodbye.